Hello everyone and welcome to the wrap up for the 6th of November 2019 or 2020. I guess that's what kind of week it's been there. Um, and let's actually get right into it. This will be a kind of unusually short one um, because not really a lot happened. So if we look at my price alerts from last week, you can see there's uh, nothing there old because as we talked about, I wasn't going to be doing this kind of trading going into election. There's been a lot of uh, short-term swings that have been good and a lot of day trades that is where I've been focusing um, you know again I'm an algorithmic day and swing trader I focus mainly on swing but when the volatility is high I like to focus on day trading so again if you guys are new to this channel um, this is a series where we essentially let me move this out of the way for a second load something up uh, we take trade ideas and ability to to back test and come up with algorithms we figure out what's working well right now. Um, and I use that statistics and the analysis to go through a handful of charts and then find out which charts uh, work best. So I'm actually gonna start with this. Speaking of trade ideas, they have a test drive here and the link will be right under the video below if you wanna sign up and give it a shot. It's 10 bucks or, or nine bucks or something and you get two full weeks of uh, premium with a chance to win uh, some things like a full year of premium and all of that. So check that out in the link below um, if you're interested at all. And let's just take a quick look here at the SPY with my, get my pen up here. Um, now there's one thing that I will note as a, a caveat here. Um, and that is the fact that the, as I'm recording this, the election has still not been called. And again, um, I can't ever stress this enough when I talk about your guys' politics. I'm Canadian, so I have no dog in the fight. Um, really actually don't even care uh, one way or the other who wins. But as traders, we need to know that these news events are out there. So first caveat I'll put in is that if something crazy happens over the weekend and the spy gaps big one way or the other, I will just cancel all these orders and we'll go another week without trading. Um, I think at this point it's been all but decided, but again, it's going in the weekend, anything can can certainly happen. So uh, first thing I wanted to note is this downtrend line here on the SPY. Uh, right, these two points here made this downtrend line and now we're at a second point with a, looks like a high wave doji and a little bit of a spinning top. So two tails going on in this area. So some bearish candlestick works uh, right in through here. So it could be potential for a pushback before a move higher or really in, in this kind of more volatile market, just about anything. So again, these are the areas that I'm watching is this downtrend line in the bottom. And then obviously this support area here and here. And then, yeah, this downtrend line right here. And as long as we're in this range, then again, this pattern is just forming. If we break outside of the range and make any sort of substantial move or we break kind of down below this 320, uh, then we're starting to talk. But until then, it's just been um, working its way like this. And I, again, I wouldn't be shocked if that continued. So uh, let's take a look at what we're doing this week. Again, there was no trading next week because of the known um, event. And here on, uh, first thing we're looking at is ARMC, which reported earnings a little bit ago. Uh, it came back with this kind of wild volatile day and now it looks like it's coming up to to break that. I like when these high uh, range candles actually get broken because quite often people will use these for stop losses. If they were short this stock, you know, it makes sense that the stop loss would be here. So I think that could push us through there. Uh, next is place. Um, this one I've been watching for a while just because of its heavily short float. It looks like we're coiling up here and it's almost decision time on PLCE. And the short float there you can see is 81%. Uh, oh, I just looked up, you guys actually can't see that. Let me just shift some of these things over. Just a little bit for you. There you go. So yeah, 81% uh, short float on that is, is pretty substantial, obviously. Uh, to the short side, we're looking at Canada Goose here. Uh, put in this double top looking pattern right here broke down came and retested the neckline and now it looks like it may be rejecting from this neckline could come down to the 200 day moving average down here a uh, nice little look on that and footlocker 
kind of the same move where it had this uh, trend line here that it broke down through, came back and retested it. And now we have a bearish engulfing candle today to hopefully kick off that move lower if that continues. So again, a shorter one today. Um, and again, if there's any news events that uh, come up on the weekend, I will be I, I will be holding on. I won't be trading these the way they are. Um, again, my theory with back testing and with um, you know uh, technical analysis as a whole is that they're they're using historical data to to forecast uh, future events that could occur. And you know when you have something that you know is nothing like any event that's occurred, it's best just to stay out of it. And you know going forward. Uh, one way. I also just like to note that uh, I think that this is important um, lesson for all traders in which uh, essentially what you're doing is you're learning that, you know, the, there's no, again, there was no crazy event um, that occurred in the markets, but the just staying out of it certainly doesn't hurt anything. So you're usually better to stay out of the market when you're unsure keep your powder dry for when things normalize and your strategies end up taking hold again. So um, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, at the very least, if there's no trading next week, I'm sure by by the end of next week, I'll, I'll feel confident enough getting back to this kind of same old routine. So I'll talk to you guys then.